first time fix is a, is a really important metric for field service because it, it gauges the operational efficiency of the business. And our research has shown that more and more organizations are beginning to track first time fix as a pulse of field service uh, efficiency, field service profitability. What organizations don't realize is how first time fix impacts you know, the customer, also impacts overall profitability. So it's not only a true measure of efficiency, it's also a true measure of customer satisfaction as well as service margins or service profitability. The importance of first time fix isn't just tied to field service and if you think about it, it can really impact cost, customer satisfaction and the profitability of a business. For instance, dispatch related costs, every time a service visit isn't completed on a first visit basis, our research shows that about 1.6 additional visits are required to get that issue resolved. If you think about an organization that does perhaps 500 visits per day, this can mean 200 additional service visits. So that added burden from a dispatch point, dispatch cost point of view, can almost impact or reach up to $12.6 million if you consider a $200 to $300 cost per truck roll. So that's this dispatch related cost. If you think about the opportunity cost, the additional visits for service technicians when they don't resolve something on a first visit basis means that they're not able to address new issues that might come up. And these could be potentially could be revenue generating opportunities as well. So there's an opportunity cost associated with it as well. Low first time fix can be significant on the customer and that in itself can have a significant impact on the revenue fortunes of that customer and create negative satisfaction from a customer's customer's point of view. Uh, and then overall the profitability impact by having less satisfied customers, you're likely to have less retention and therefore that impacts the profitability of your service business. First time fix is a very difficult metric to fix for a lot of organizations because they treat it just purely as a field service metric. When really the solution for improving first time fix involves the integration of field service and service parts. And the primary reason for low first time fix is the fact that technician didn't have the right part in place or had a number of parts in place but they weren't the right parts. So that's the primary reason. So if you just try to optimize, if you will, field service performance without considering the impact on parts or the effect that parts will have on field service, you're not going to be able to drive first time fix performance up. Um, that's the reason we see organizations struggle is because they look to their field service organizations to improve first time fix, but they don't integrate or look at the, the, the traditional silo, if you will, of service parts management. And those two need to be put together really to drive field service and first time fix performance forward. To improve first time fix in the near term, we see best in class organizations that really look at a comprehensive review of workforce management. So they're not just looking at scheduling as one solution, they're really looking at it from a point of service to all the way to planning and activities around all of that. So for example, at the point of service, they're looking to provide their field technicians with better information when they're on site so that they can resolve a service issue. That information can be you know, customer history, service product history, asset history, technical information, technical content, whatever is required for that agent to resolve the service issue. If you step back a little bit and you think about the dispatch and scheduling function, we see the best in class really focused on triage, if you will, really understanding when the, once a call comes in, what is the issue, what are the parts required for that specific issue. So prior to dispatch, the necessary parts can be made available for the technician and that can have a significant impact on improving first time fix. We step back one more level, we see the best in class organiza organizations focus on planning. So it's in forecasting future service needs, field service needs from a reactive and a predictive point of view, and then moving those resources to be in those positions to solve future or potential service needs, to so get more predictive as opposed to reactive in that service. Finally, to the, the final element of workforce management, if you will, is in looking at the hiring, the training, uh, the, the skills required for field technicians, really focusing on those gaps between what technicians know and what they don't know, and, and filling that gap with better training, uh, better assessments, better uh, hiring procedures, so that they have the right workforce, if you will, to resolve customer issues. 
And with the aid of that comprehensive review from the point of service to, to planning to all the way to hiring, we see that the best in class operated at a near 90% level of first time fix, which is significantly higher than the all others who tend to be in that 70 to 75% range.